Goat Fish is played with two to five players. The goal of the game is to assemble goat herds as quickly as possible. There are three types of cards in Goat Fish. Goat cards, action cards, and defend cards. Some cards include additional card text that details specifics about the card. Pay attention to the text on your cards and that of your opponents. To assemble a herd, you need four matching goats. If playing with two or three players, the first player with four goat herds wins. You only need three herds to win when playing with four or five players. Each player starts with seven cards. A player's turn has two phases, herding and action. During the herding phase, the player tries to assemble a herd by asking other players for goat cards or by drawing them from the draw pile. The player must have the goat type in their hand in order to ask for it. The herding phase ends when the player draws a card from the draw pile. They may then optionally play an action card. Once the action phase concludes, play moves to the next player on the left. There is no limit to the number of cards you may have in your hand. Let's walk through an example game round. Pygmy starts, and she asks Alpine if he has any La Mancha goats. He does, so he must give her all of the La Mancha goats he has in his hand. Pygmy already has two La Mancha goats, so she now has a full herd. She must immediately place her goat herd face up in front of her. Since Pygmy got the card she asked for from Alpine, she continues her herding phase. She can ask any of the other players for goats and decides to ask Kashmir if he has any Kiko goats. Kashmir does not, so he tells Pygmy to goat fish. Pygmy draws a card from the draw pile. If she draws a Kiko goat, she can show it to everyone and continue her herding phase as if she received the goat from another player. If not, her herding phase is over and she moves to her action phase. Playing an action card is optional. So, Pigman decides that she will pass on playing an action card. Then, play moves on to Kashmir. Kashmir begins his herding phase by asking Alpine if he has any Irish goats. Alpine does have some Irish goats, but he has three of them and doesn't want to give them up. So he decides to defend with a Screaming Goat Defend card. He screams and places the Screaming Goat in the discard pile. This immediately ends Kashmir's turn and he doesn't get to draw or play an action card. It is now Alpine's turn, and he wants that Irish goat from Kashmir. So, he asks for Kashmir's Irish goat. Sadly, Kashmir does not have a Screaming Goat Defend card. So, he has to give up his Irish goat, which completes Alpine's herd. After laying down his Irish goat herd, Alpine asks Pygmy for mountain goats, which she doesn't have, so she tells him to goat fish. After drawing a card from the draw pile, it is Alpine's turn to play an action. Fearing retaliation from Kashmir, he announces that Kashmir has been mutton busted, causing Kashmir to lose his next turn. Alpine places his action card in the discard pile and ends his turn. It is now Borer's turn. Instead of asking for a goat card from another player, he decides to play it cool and draw a card instead. This ends his herding phase and starts the action phase. For his action, he wants to steal Alpine's Irish goat herd by playing a goat sacker action card. This is a steal card. Luckily for Alpine, he has a security llama defend card that protects him from chaos and steal actions. He plays it to stop the theft of his herd. This ends Boar's turn and concludes the first round of a game of Goatfish. In summary, Goatfish supports two to five players. Each player starts with seven cards. Four matching goats make a herd. Each turn has two phases, herding and action. Asking players for goats and playing actions are both optional. Defend cards protect against some actions and herding requests. And finally, the first player to collect the required number of herds wins. Thank you for watching and now go play some goatfish.